you ever hear, I know it's more supernatural kind of stuff, but do you ever hear things like someone would be, could, could be dead and someone would see a fetch of them? Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, that was common here. Like, George's father, who was a very uh, sensible man, very black and white, and that, mm. he told us he, he was going down fishing 40, 50 years ago, and he met this fellow on the kelp pet, they call it, mm. the pet going down to where the boats were. And he said, he found it so strange. He said, when they came home, they found it so strange that Pat, Paddy Conway didn't speak to him. And he had died during the night. He says he met him that morning on the kelp pack going down where the boats were. And he was adamant, right? Now, my, my neighbour, just up from me, I'd say about 20 years ago, now died. She walked into the brook right in front of our house and, and drowned. But it was about, it was the year of the moratorium. My husband used to walk up on the trail, which was between our house and their house. And this morning he was coming down, him and the dog, we had a Springer Spaniel, him and the dog, and all of a sudden the dog said a growl. And George said, he looked into the meadow, this was between our house and their house, a meadow. And he see this figure sitting on the rack. And I said, what? He said, I see a figure, a lady sitting on the rack. So, he said he went to the fence, he said, now that's someone trying to play a trick on me now, I'm going to find out who you are. So he said he went to the fence and he tried to get over, he said he was frightened of it, every hair on the back of his head stood up. But the dog, he says, what really frightened him, because the dog refused to go into the meadow. He said, I literally grabbed him by the collar and he whined, he would not go in, wouldn't go in. So George said, the heck with this, I'm going to find out now who you are. And he walked, started walking towards her and he said she stood up, she was back on to him. She stood up, and as he got, all of a sudden, woman, she was there next to me, she was gone. To this day, he swears, was this lady that lived up in that house, right? Well, I know when he walked in that morning, he was ashen. His face, he said, I'm sure, for the first time in my life, I just saw a ghost. But he couldn't get over the fact that the dog would not go in the meadow. Would not go in there, right? So anyway, when you, usually when you dream of someone, or you hear something like that, you get a mask from So he got a mask for mm. and. He said, he, he, that's what she was looking for. She was looking for a mess. We say that around here a lot too. If you dream of someone that's dead, they're looking for a mess. Looking for a mess intention. You pass in $5 to the parish and get a mess in their name. Yeah. That's still very common to do that. We have a, my own father had it at home. We the same as well. We say looking for a prayer. Yeah, well, me, we mass. say looking for a mess here, right? Yeah. 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 Mm. And yeah. you don't know how many people have come through these doors and said to me, have a mess for such one. I dreamt about him last night. I can't get him out of my head. So they've got to get a mess for him, right? And that's still a common, more with older people, but still mm -hmm. common here. Yeah, still a common tradition here now to have a mess for some. Yeah. And would you use that word a fetch? What, what a fetch, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, saw a fetch, yeah. We saw, that we'd use that, yeah. Saw a fetch, right? Or spirit. Mm. We'd say that either, right? Yeah. And a fetch would mean the ghost. Yeah, the ghost, yeah. It would. Or likeness of someone. Yeah, right, yeah. Oh, yes. George, to this day, if you asked him, he'd say he saw Emma Foley that morning. Even though he didn't see her face or anything. But he swears he saw her that morning in the middle. Yeah. Like he said, it was 7 o'clock in the morning. It wasn't as if it was just breaking daylight or anything like that. But it took him about a week to get back up on the train. He was afraid to go. Because he said he really believed. Mm. He still, I don't know. My mother used to tell me when her father died, that no, when he, her mother died, her mother died suddenly. And her, her and her sister were staying with her, her father at the time. And uh, the rocking chair started going that night and she always sat in the rocking chair. And she said, they got really nervous at the rocking chair. She said, we must have bumped up against it. And the father said, no, that's your mother. Very matter of fact. And she said, no, we weren't lying on the bed, believe me, <laughs> when it happened, right? Yeah. You just yeah. said that was, that was your mother? That was your mother.